Outside Brazoc Castle, this live shot where the sun is setting. Inside, we're minutes away from the start of what promises to be an epic battle between Pierre Gagné and Hiroyuki Sakai. So right now, let's take an up-close and personal look at the man who will battle the Iron Chef French. If memory serves me right, it was in 1993 when Pierre Gagné first gained his glorious three-star status as a chef. People referred to him as a ray of sunshine from the sky. Simply, he gained national attention. Pierre is a true genius, going off tangents from the traditional, combining ingredients no one has ever imagined. In the fall of 1995, he was invited to Japan for the Iron Chef World Cup, representing France. But at that time, his restaurant was not doing well financially. Back then, the nation of France was facing economic hardships. Gourmets from Paris refrained from frequenting to the small town where Pierre had his restaurant. And painstakingly, Pierre came to the hard conclusion to let go of his establishment. A fall from glory for the three-star chef. Seeing Pierre in person, I couldn't resist the desire to help him regain his passion for cooking. That is why I have brought my Iron Chefs to him. And of course, to light the fire within him, I ordered Iron Chef Sakai to challenge him. It is my wish to approach this competition against the Japanese chef uh, with modesty. Voilà. Mm, my cuisine is gentle and poetic. If, while I'm cooking, I become too aggressive, then the quality of my creations will suffer. Well, I'm going against a three-star chef, but I'm not nervous about that. It's nothing special. I'll fight him like I'm a three-star chef myself, I suppose. A pinnacle French battle between top chefs of France and Japan. Pride against pride. And now, Pierre, show me once again your inspiring creations and light up your own path towards a glorious future. I will stick to my style and my dishes will taste fine. Mmm. I'll win. それでは第二試合を開始します。本場フランスの最先端、そして日本の最先端。フランス料理に人生を捧げた二人の男の戦いをご覧いただきましょう。それではまずはピエール・ガニエル。had to fight through adversity. Gagnier trying to reclaim his name as the trendsetter in modern French cuisine. The long walk along the red carpet, the first steps on the comeback trail. And here comes Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, the pride of the Gourmet Academy. With nearly an 850 winning percentage in Kitchen Stadium at 32 wins, 6 losses. But now facing his toughest opponent ever in Gagne on the Frenchman's home turf, no less. ハジメテのフランスでの対決。そこで私は以前から一度やってみたかったスタイルを取ることにしました。それは素材集めの旅です。Nous allons partir dans un voyage pour faire les achats, puisqu'il n'y a rien dans la cuisine. Pour les gars, France cuisine est tombé dans le thème soleil, mais bien sûr, les autres soleils sont tous faits de moi-même. Mais le délai de livraison est de 24 heures. Il est maintenant 7 heures, donc demain soir, le match de demain soir commence. Donc, le thème de la deuxième partie. 発表します
第2試合のテーマはこれです<笑>第2試合のテーマはオーマの旅に出かけるがいいマーシェー Yes, you heard the chairman. The two chefs have 24 hours starting right now to go out and collect the theme ingredient Omar Lobster, beg, barter or buy and all the other ingredients they'll use in their dishes. The men and their assistants making their way down and out of the castle. Reporter Chio Abe will be on their trail. Let's go to her right now. Yes, thanks. Now I see Pierre and also Sakai-san walking along together. And Sakai-san starts trotting out of the castle. And Sakai passes Pierre to get ahead. And we're outside. Oh, oh, Pierre is also running now. Outside we have two coaches for the two chefs. They are going off on their ingredient hunting tour for 24 hours. They shall return by 7 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, they're wishing each other good luck. Yes, they're supposed to be back here with their own ingredients in their coaches. Sakai in the first coach, Pierre in the second. Good luck to you both. And so they went off on a quest to hunt for ingredients. The two will travel all across the country to find the ingredients they wish to use. The theme ingredient being Omar Lobster. The time limit, 24 hours. The battle between the two chefs has begun. Ah, Pierre and Sakai. Pierre heads for the north and Sakai to the south. Sakai hopped onto the TGV, headed to a place he spent some time in his youth and also took the name of his restaurant from La Rochelle. On the other hand, Pierre headed to a place where a close friend runs a restaurant in a small town near Normandy called Cancale, famous for lobsters. It was well past 11 at night when Pierre arrived. His friend was pleasantly surprised to see Pierre at this hour. He agreed to help Pierre with his quest for ingredients. That night, both chefs stayed up late working on their recipes. The next morning, it was Sakai who made the first move. His destination, La Rochelle's Market, a place where fresh seafood from southern Brittany comes to shore. But somehow, he had a tough time finding lobsters. They don't have it here. Let's try over there. Bonjour. No lobsters. No lobsters. Well, that's great. What are we going to do then? Because of the storm they had the day before, hardly any lobsters were available at this market. But finally at the fifth place. Alive? Ah, uh, no. But. Hey, this one's pretty good. Give me four fifties, about ten of them. Sakai was relieved to find some fresh looking lobsters. He went on to buy crabs, long clawed prawns, and other shellfish here. At that time, Pierre was on the coast of Cancal. Because of the great tidal range of this sea, lobsters get quite a workout and thus become top quality meat. Pierre was in search of that kind of firm texture. Oh, super, wonderful. She even has the eggs. Good looking female lobster. Mm. Perhaps I could even make the use of the eggs. Here, Pierre bought himself eight lobsters fresh from the sea. And next, he went on to look for oysters, another item that is well known here. Luckily again, he ran into 20-year-old oysters, an extremely rare item. And the taste? Exquisite. But Pierre had one concern. 
It takes time to open these oysters, does it not? Yeah, you could say that maybe. I have only one hour to cook. It's, uh, but well, it's well worth the time. The taste remains in your mouth for about 15 minutes. Convinced with that comment, he decides to add oysters to his recipe. Sakai, at this point, is at a marketplace looking through all kinds of fresh vegetables, much fresher than one can find in the city of Paris. Great looking asparagus. These, please. I'll take the whole box. A load of asparagus? And some turnips. And now, Sakai is off to Paris, a four hour ride on the TGV. What is he after, I wonder? Pierre arrived at a town called saint malo his final destination for the ingredient quest. He spent most of his time here to find the right spices and seasoning. In this specialty store, he obtained some Asian ethnic spices that he definitely wanted to use in his recipes. And Pierre completed his mission 3.20 p.m., leaving the town and heading back to the castle. Meanwhile, moments earlier, Sakai was in Paris, visiting a Japanese restaurant run by a friend. He plans to get some Japanese ingredients. First, he checks the quality of miso pastes. Can I take both of them? Okay. Sakai also included condensed Japanese broth, kelp, seaweed, and soy sauce. And at 3.26 p.m., his quest was over. I made it just in time. Ah. Yesterday, 7 p.m., the two chefs set off on their ingredient hunting journey. It's almost 7 o'clock now. Their 24 hours are just about up. Apparently, Iron Chef Sakai is going to be the first one back, and he is now near the castle. Abe-san is outside the castle. Let's go to her right now. Yes, I'm in the courtyard now. Over there? We are starting to see Sakai's coach. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, the coach is now sliding into the huge compound of this castle. I recognize the black coach heading towards this castle. All right, and it looks like there are two coaches over there. Yes, that's right. The one in the back is loaded with the ingredients that they purchased. A coach full of ingredients. Yes, even for Iron Chef French, it must have been difficult to go around and purchase things by himself, but he's managed to come back with a coach full. All right, and there they are. He's about to reach the entrance. All right, thanks, Abe-san, and now... Sakai has returned to the castle, and yes, there he is, getting out of the lead carriage and uh, stretching out a bit, getting loose for what's about to follow, and the assistants now beginning to unload the ingredients, the food items from the second coach. And now the men are carrying the boxes into the castle, up the stairs, and they should be in here shortly. It's a real, uh, there's Sakai, a real do-it-yourself man with this effort today. And yes, Sakai is back, now entering the room here and getting a big hand from the guests, including the Duke and Duchess. He looks to be a little bit tired, out of breath there, and first thing he's doing now, checking the boxes and the condition of the theme ingredients. He is trucked back into the castle here. And uh, some wow. great looking lobsters there. Oh, very good quality, aren't they? Man alive, check that out. Oh, look at them. They're and moving. Sakai putting that one up for display, the size of that one. <laughs> you know, it was difficult for him, but he has come up with a load of excellent looking Omar lobsters. Okay, and now it looks like our other chef is back, Gagnier. <laughs> Two coaches also back at the castle. And let's see, he is the first man, I believe, yes, out of that lead coach and hustling back to the other one. We're a few minutes away from the 24-hour deadline for getting back with all the theme, ingredients, and items. Actually, four minutes away from the deadline, but he is going to make it up the stairs and now back into the hall. Pierre Gagnier has gone here and there and everywhere, but now he's back in Brazac Castle with his ingredients. And the Iron Chef, he got back about 15 minutes ago. He's already had a chance to double check his stuff. Sakai shaking hands with Gagnier. 
And for Gagne, some of his lobsters right there. Yes, they are alive and kicking, alive and snapping. That one is. Yeah, that one, yeah. Probably knows what's coming. And the chef now will probably take a few minutes to check his ingredients, and then our battle will be on. Another day, another battle in the castle in the cooking wars between France and Japan. Three star chef Pierre Gagne and Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, two men who've dedicated their lives to French cuisine. Finally, hour number 25. We're set. Let's get it on! Bang a gong, we are on Omar Lobster Battle, and right out of the gate, both men scurrying. Oh, gosh, exciting is an understatement. Racing for this. from it's the get go. <laughs> yeah, my heart is pounding. Boy, a lot of pressure already. Yeah. Isn't it? I haven't felt tension like this before. You're not in Tokyo, no. <laughs> it's almost like a race. And quickly going in there. Oh, dumping, dumping them, them in. in. Yeah. Sakai with a couple of lobsters dumped into that pot wow. of boiling water that was at the ready. Oh. And the tension in here so thick you could cut it with a lobster claw. <laughs> wow. And now Gagnier placing that one in a huge steaming pot. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. gosh. And the lobsters, wow. live ones, doing their best to remain that way. Some of them still <laughs> kicking, yeah. Live lobsters going into the steamer. Yeah, his lobsters seem a bit fresher than Sakai's. But the really? speed, yeah. both guys Huzzah! racing from the get-go. Shinichiro Ota, go! Yeah, I asked Iron Chef Sakai about watching Iron Chef Nakamura go down to defeat, and his reply was, I just can't lose this one. I have to save face for the Iron Chefs. We can't lose two in a row. I will win this one. He didn't seem stressed. It was more like he was psyching himself up. Fired up, and the most yeah. intensing looking Sakai I've ever seen. Okay, we got some chicken. Oh, no, wait, that's not chicken. No? No, pigeons. Pigeons? Okay. I thought they were quails. Okay, maybe. pigeon meat, Gagnier oh, side. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. And today we'll be seeing all the different ingredients that the men bought or were given, their own selections for this one as Sakai starting to pierce lobster tails, yes. Yeah, as you can see, Iron Chef uh, is using chopsticks to skewer these lobster tails. He was searching for bamboo skewers, but couldn't find any, so chopsticks will have to do. All right, Sakai making do and doing a number on those lobster tails. And Chen San, uh, Sakai's Mr. Intensity right now, wouldn't you say? Well, I feel the vibes just being here. Right. <laughs> I fired up myself. Yeah, Everyone is. Yeah. Doesn't get any better than this. Okay, so the Iron Chef got the uh, the sticks there to keep the tails right? straight. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's, okay. that's All right, now check. Check this out, uh, Garnier doing a little tie up job here. <laughs> That's trying to get the same effect to keep this tail straight. Oh, all right, okay. all tied up and you know, some place to go. Yeah. This is Pierre's side. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it may look like Chef Pierre is rushing and therefore nervous, but he tells me that because he had 24 hours to think about it, he has a clear picture of all the dishes he's going to make today, and he says he'll have time to make five or six. All right, got a game plan and speedily implementing it. Mm, he's not slowing down at all. He's Garnier really has come out running the equivalent of a 440 here once around the track yeah. and now Sakai. Yeah, if we can look at the Iron Chef here, he's hauling out the turnips and I think he's going to stuff something inside. All right. Spooning out, uh, scooping out the halves of the turnips there. You might call them uh, turnip have-nots right now. <laughs> now, Gagnier and he's got the lobsters that he tied up and yeah. got a Got him in a pan right there. Mm -hmm. And now a pan on top is a lid. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And those are cooking away on his side of the kitchen. Yes. I asked Chef Pierre's assistants about him, and they said they think Chef Pierre is much more nervous than he usually is, and that's why he's running around faster than usual. But that seemed to get the assistants fired up and motivated as well. All right, everybody in hurry up mode on that side and now here. It's uh, coral. Okay, which is? Uh, well, of the lobsters, right? It's, it's coral in English is what we call it. Sea eggs and soft roll Ooh. lobster. What an operation right there. <laughs> yeah. The uh, top chefs use this way to enhance the flavor. All right, that's on Gagnier's side. Now it's Sakai, and in the earlier battle, Frenchman Bernard Leprance able to prance out of here with the win. So Sakai trying to put his best French cooking forward. There is Leprance, who bested Iron Chef Nakamura. Yes. Let me give you the ingredients that you're seeing in this pan. Here it is. Uh, he has diced apples, grapefruit, and oranges all being cooked in olive oil. But because he's trying to do three things at once, he is using a stick now. But a minute ago, he was stirring things with his hands. What? Wow, with his hands? Incredible. Oh my. Uh, not, uh, not too 
too normal. <laughs> oh, that's totally unheard of. Stirring <laughs> ingredients with his hands. All right. All right. <laughs> but I can relate to the feeling. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last resort is using your hands. <laughs> All right. You don't really feel the heat if you're really fired up. <laughs> All right. But I say this is one move you're not advised to try at home. And now swinging back to the Iron Chef. Can't quite make out what that jar is. Uh, looks like a bisque of lobster. Cousin. Yes. Yeah, the contents in that bottle that you just saw a second ago was Omar lobster sauce. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. Sauce, okay, so right. a condensed lobster sauce. Okay, and off the stove into the processor. Going to make a paste over there? Into the, in the blender there, perhaps, Looks like yeah. it was lobster mm -hmm. pieces, stir-fried, that went into the processor. Now, look at Ooh. that. Wow. Yes. What Chef Pierre has done here is added lobster broth to lobster heads, sautéed in olive oil. All right, double dosing with the mm. theme ingredient, lobster on lobster. Yeah. And Sakai, whoa! Oh, oh check that huge. out. Holy. Oh. Wow, it's huge. <laughs> Bright red jumbo lobsters with a capital J. <laughs> Pierre Gagnier, the second Frenchman chosen for battle against the Iron Chefs, a true creator, innovator, and once this man's imagination is stoked, there's no stopping him. Oh, look at this. He's kneeling look down look over these look here. Look That's a rare type of oyster. Mm, all right. And they're large too, aren't they? Oysters Quite. that he brought in as he did all the ingredients, which both men did, and the oysters more than 20 years old. Now Sakai working up a sweat, no surprise, and Gagnier squeezing a lemon, I believe, over there. That's the boiled lobsters, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh-huh. So yeah, lemon, lemon juice. Lemon. Okay. Lemon juice will be penetrating and he gives it an assist. And now on the Iron Chef side, and they're mixing something over there, yeah. a couple of bowls, and it looks as if a dash of salt added there. You're right, salt, yeah. Okay. Yes. Looks like the makings of a moose. Mm -hmm. yeah, Lob exactly. Lobster moose? Yeah. yeah. All right, Chen Song, there's been no let up, none whatsoever in Sakai so far. Well, he's not nervous or anything. He's just so focused. In his element. Definitely. I know he's excited, but you have to understand that he's got to be that focused to do it in an atmosphere like this. Tunnel vision. All right. <laughs> now we're back on Gagnier's side, and he ran to the back room and got a bottle of this. It says uh, Majoli, I think. And there are the oysters, I think, oyster in this? Yeah, yeah. Cousin, exactly. yes. I have those ingredients right here. Boiled did, lobster, squid, and chopped vegetables marinated in lemon juice. He also has olive oil standing by. Oh, All right. yes, lemon yes, juice yes, and yes, olive yes, oil, yes, maybe call it a marinated one. Mm -hmm. Could be uh, used as an appetizer. Very much so, yeah. That's what it's Okay, and he's putting that one down onto the oyster shells, and that'll make for a nice presentation by Garnier, and he... It's still at it over there. Oh, it's so pretty. Now these the here, colors, what, what, isn't it? That's some eggs there. Uh -huh. Eggs of uh, yeah, the lobsters. lobsters. Yeah. Lobster? And what a bright color. Oh, yeah, yeah, very yeah, much. Really lobster really eggs at the ready for the Frenchman, a three-star oh. chef. And uh, how might he use these? Uh, well, before we get to that, can we get back to the Iron Chef? I think he's planning to, yeah, he is. He just Same made deal oh, on yeah. his side. So neither of these chefs are not wasting any part of the lobster. Hey, they had a hard time getting these lobsters. <laughs> no, but to be totally honest, lobster eggs, not the greatest tasting no. ingredient in the world. No, so maybe a garnish. Uh -huh. All right, the Iron Pretty. Chef now, he's over his turnips the miso's with in there. the yeah, miso. miso. Okay, okay. Yeah. white uh -huh. miso added to the liquid in the pot, and what, turnip miso soup? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, I know. His intention here is to add miso flavor to the turnips, mm. but the real question, what will he use to fill out the hollowed pieces of those turnips right. that are boiling away over there? Now we're into the second half, 30 minutes to go. Looking at the outside of Brazac Castle, nightfall has come. The castle is illuminated, and inside it's bright and warm with all the cooking in here. Now this on oh, Garnier's side, look at that. covered up again. I don't think he wants us spying on him there. <laughs> I thought I caught some nice looking lobster. Yeah, I couldn't tell what else was in there though. Uh, on. Yes. Yeah, even with the now you see it, now you don't secrecy, I know some of the items that went into that dish. Lobster sauteed in butter and some kind of vegetables with vanilla beans added to them. Wow, the vanilla in there. Okay. And what is that oh, bubbling in that hey, pot? Hold there. on, there goes Garnier running back again. <laughs> He's a very very busy man today, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Hey, Ota once again is positioned for a word with our distinguished guests. Get their view on what they think so far about the battle. Big fella. Thank you very much. First, Monsieur Robichon, these two chefs have been working furiously, and it may be even harder to answer this time, but I'm going to pose the same question to you again. Which chef do you think has the upper hand so far? It's a tough question. Uh, these chefs are cooking at speeds I've never seen before, and Pierre is using top quality lobsters. It's uh, really hard to say. Très bien. And Monsieur Tragot, whose dishes are you most looking forward to trying? Uh, both chefs are about to go mad in this competition. I can feel their desire to win in this match. So right now I can't even begin to try to answer your question. 
Merci beaucoup, and back to you, Fukuisa. All right, thanks, Sota. Okay, did you catch that comment? Both, both chefs about to go mad. Well, both <laughs> Robuchon and Tragro very moved and impressed with the passion these two chefs are exhibiting in their cooking in this battle. Okay, and Sakai now has a cress soup there, you can see, and he added some butter to that yes, as well. I saw that too. So it's getting right. a, a glossiness. A little to the sheen sauce. to the sauce yeah. there, the, and the green sauce will make for a great color contrast mm. with the lobster. Yeah. Oh, he's sauteing now, and I think this will probably go into the turnips. Could be a perfect oh, fit, yeah, seeing the size there. Yeah, it makes sense. And you catch that, some hot bean sauce to add an Asian touch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's thrilling to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's using his hands again to stir here. Huh? <laughs> this is a hands-on man in the kitchen. <laughs> he's uh, he's an amazing fellow. <laughs> now, if we can get a shot of the Iron Chef here. All right, I, I see what he's got going. Working with the turnips again. Yeah, there he goes. Yes, there is again. Hey, maybe, uh -huh. he's, maybe they weren't a perfect fit. Uh, maybe not. I'm not sure huh. what he's doing now. Now, what, some repeat action here? Stuffing yeah, he, them maybe, or? Yeah, he did, but they took him out again, right? Oh. Okay, he's going to get the size <laughs> just right <laughs> for a proper <laughs> fit. Boy, that looks good right oh, there, the little lobster. Oh, yeah. And Gagnier, he was shouting something over there and now some sizzling action. I, I think that humming noise that you hear, that's coming from yes. a blender. All right, it's got some small pieces of uh, something ah. black thrown on oh. there too. Okay. Oh, black pepper maybe. Or truffles perhaps? Mm. Mm. Truffles. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Mm. Well, I think no. it is black pepper. Okay, peppercorns. Oh yes, right, right there, yeah. getting it up close. Now 15 minutes left in this Omar lobster battle. Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai trying to salvage the second battle here for the Gourmet Academy. Kuzan. Yes. Yeah, I told Chef Pierre that he only has 15 minutes left, but he didn't even look at me. He just answered, oui, oui. Now I'm hoping that that means everything's okay. He's still working for six dishes. All right. Hope he can make it. Looks like he's gone into a frenzy over there. So he, he said he's shooting for six. That's what right? to say. Yeah. I'm not really seeing a, a connection or a link between right. these dishes here. And butter to the rescue in that one, and he'll need to watch his hands again. <laughs> He'll need a towel and I think he needs a comb does Garnier over there. <laughs> now if we can get a shot of the Iron Chef here, the lobster is going into the turnips again. Oh, here. Yes, yeah. yes, you were right when you noticed the Iron Chef fiddling with the lobster and the turnips. He was trying to balance the size of the two and he's finally satisfied. All right, they are looking fine right now and here's another one. Now, he's got some lobster meat on top of white asparagus. That looks great, yeah, too. Yeah, I think sakai is going to be relying on sauces to win this battle. You can see him leaning that way, huh? Yeah. Well, you notice that he was stuffing lobster into turnips, right? right? And now he's combined it with the white asparagus. So he's planning to have, like, different sauces to distinguish the, the flavors from dish to dish. Well, Sakai is a sauce specialist, so that's mm. the way he'll play it. Gagnier shooting for six dishes, and one of them will have pigeon meat. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, the red spice that he's flavoring the pigeon meat with is called vinette. Uh, I'm told it's a spice from Iran. Wow. Oh, wow. I'd like to try that one. I've, I've never even heard of that yeah. spice before. Okay. And the uh, black peppercorns that you see here are from Guinea. Where? Uh, the country of Guinea. All right, oh, yeah. the man okay. is really all over the map with this yeah. dish. Yeah, lots of uh, Asian things Over going the, on. It the seems. whole yeah. world yeah. view here. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I remember this one. <laughs> oh yeah, that was uh -huh. the morel mushrooms uh -huh. that have been added to that. Okay, now. he's got okay. one on top and two on bottom on the side there. He cooked these earlier. Ten minutes uh, to go. Yes. Yeah. All right, ten minutes Ooh. left, and now on Gagnier's side, an herb or veggie of some type. Yeah. What's the green stuff that he's got there? Got no idea. Yes, zucchini flowers. Okay, zucchini flowers with lobster coral. Okay, and inside the flowers he stuffed mushrooms called trumpet hmm. here in France. Okay, trumpet mushrooms and Gagnier hunkered down over there. There are less than nine minutes left now one. trying to finish six dishes. Yes. I asked Iron Chef Sakai how he's doing on time and he said, hey, no problem, don't worry, I'm going to win this thing. I got to. He's still fired up. Well, <laughs> yesterday evening, seven o'clock, the theme ingredient announced and the men sent so off, so given 24 so hours so to collect so everything so they need to cook for this one. Yes, so to go. Yeah, I just wanted to say that I asked uh, Chef Pierre the same question about time and and he replied, ça va, ça va, whatever that means. Hmm? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Interesting. Well, Sava means? That's basically okay. All right, okie okay, doke. Yeah. They've got it together. And now, the Iron Chef side. Uh, Turnips okay. now stewed in a miso soup over there. I think flavored with clams as well, if I'm not mistaken. Clam miso soup with French mushrooms, mm. turnips yes. stuffed with Omar lobster. And some kidney beans on top as okay, well. Okay, now this is Gagnier's side, the vegetables. Mm. Sautéed in olive oil and balsamico. Cousin. Yes. Yeah, in here, along with the spinach, he also has chopped cabbage. All right. Oh, cabbage. Okay. Chopped cabbage wrapped in spinach. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. And then the whole thing sautéed. And Cousin? Yes. The dressing that the Irish have is spinning onto this plate is made of olive oil 
oil and balsamic mm, vinegar. It looks good. Okay, a balsamic okay. vinegar dressing, and this would be going as a salad, I'd assume, and lobster in the center, boiled Omar lobster, and now, Sakai, another sauce going down. Yeah, you see the different sauces. Oh, uh, green sauce. Yeah, got a green mm, It's so pretty. A reservoir oh, of sauce right there. And you'll notice he's keeping it on one side, which means that he's going to have probably something different on the other side. Oh, two sauces, Another one. Think, huh? I'm not going to bet the castle on it, but I think it's Chen Son, you look a little burnt out yourself. Stop. <laughs> Looking pretty tired over yeah, there. Just watching it, it is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just watching it takes a lot out of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, oh, you see this? Two types. Ah, uh, great. There you go. Good yes, job. sir. Okay, sir. Got that. Sea sauce. Yeah, it's sea. No, no, wait a minute. No, it's not. Huh? Oh, yeah, no, okay. sorry. Isn't it a no, yeah, it's Chris lobster I'm, sauce. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. The light brown sauce that you're talking about was made by mixing okay. lobster broth and veal broth and then boiling it down. All right, and perhaps wanting this color as well to go with the subtle color of asparagus and lobster. That could be a big part of it, too. And yeah. Gagnier's side, he's gasping for air, and Sakai finally getting to it. Oh, he's got the mousse. The lobster mousse going into the center there. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Now, that was the initial plan. Ooh, so. This one looks good, too. But using asparagus in two dishes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Well, asparagus is in season right now. Okay, he's got uh, white and green in this one. It's good for early summer, too, that yeah. asparagus. And that's not any old lobster mousse. Oh. No, Omar mousse. Uh, all right, yeah. it's crunch time now. We're under five minutes. The Iron Chef seems to be done with most of his cooking, working on the finishing touches there, adding the bright red lobster eggs on top of the mousse. Another dish with a double shot of the theme ingredient right there. Gorgeous. So yeah. okay. And the Delacroix of French cuisine. We shall see what the French tasters make of Sakai's artwork and Gagnier. A ball of confusion looks like over there. What's he looking for? Yeah. Started out all revved up and amazing. He's been able to keep up that pace the whole way. Yeah, the Iron Chef dish is looking good. Go. And another touch of coloring added to this one. Three minutes left now. I believe this is the pigeon meat on Gagnier's side. No sign of any lobster in there, no, right? I no lobster. Seen any lobster. No. Well, how will lobster be added to this one? Cousin. Yes. Iron Chef's a guy gathered his assistants together and told them, "Good job. We're finished." With two and a half minutes left, he's already cleaning up. All right. Oh. Thought so. Looked like he had finished up. A little out of character for Sakai. He's usually the one cooking right up till the last few seconds. This battle, it's Gagnier who's up against it. A little bit worried. And he's got that dish with the pigeon meat. Still don't know how he's going to work the lobster into it. Um, he did have lobster in this, right? I don't think it was this one. Oh, really? Yes. I have to clarify something over on this side. Along with the spinach, it's not only just cabbage. He also has lobster meat in there as well. Sorry about the confusion. Oh, okay, well, that's good kind of news. funny to have just All right. Thanks spinach, for clarifying. Yeah. The spinach in that one has lobster there. Okay, that's it's good to know. Yeah. So this dish indeed clearing the theme requirement in an almost covert way. Lobster and cabbage wrapped in spinach in a pigeon meat dish. <laughs> All right, now a minute to go. The final 60 seconds of the 25th hour. Sakai is done, but Gagnier is still working up the storm. Yesterday evening, the men setting off on a 24-hour journey far and wide, gathering all the ingredients and items that they would have to use in this battle. And now 30 seconds left. The Iron Chef done with his cooking. He can cruise into the finish. Sakai starting off like a ball of fire from the opening gong. And now he is done on his side, able to stand tall and rest easy in the last seconds of this one. Gagnier working his behind off, trying to duplicate LaFrance's victory in the first battle. He has it on overdrive, has had it there the whole way extending himself this three-star chef Five without seconds. a restaurant of his own trying Three, to win two, the final seconds ticking one. down and that's it the cooking's done the omar lobster battle from brazan castle is over great job you seem to need a bit of time to catch your breath <laughs> too tired to talk perhaps <laughs> Everything went okay. Well, I did make a mistake which caused the delay, but uh, overall, uh, okay. How about the pacing? Oh, okay. All my assistants, they did a great work today. I owe them a lot. Do you think you can win? Mm, I don't think so. So he says, sounding not so confident, Pierre Gagnier. All right, now let's get some comments from Iron Chef Hiroyuki Sakai. Great job. Ah, thanks. Wow, you worked at such a frantic pace today right from the beginning. What effect did that have on your dishes? Boy, it was tough. Well, the dishes are great. Oh, yeah? Really tough. Tough physically, you mean? Yeah. That and doing it in an unfamiliar place. Right. And the ingredients. I didn't think it was this tough getting everything together alone. Well... I think I did okay. Well, if they're as good as you say, can we yes. expect a win? I think I've got it. Confident? Yes. Okay, then. Yes. Thank you Thanks. very much.
Pierre Gagnier is offering six dishes. First, marinated Omar lobster, squid and oyster. The fresh lobster eggs add a nice accent, a masterpiece harmonizing all its elements aboard an oyster shell. Second, lobster claw salad. Lightly boiled lobster is sauteed in butter with spring vegetables and finished with black pepper from Guinea. Lobster karayu and mushroom stuffed in zucchini flour, a side dish of the previous one. The zucchini flour stuffed with the trumpet mushroom enhances the spring aroma. Lobster tempura, Garnier style, an appeal to the Japanese tasters. He accentuated the sourness in the veal sauce and added red chili powder, creating his own original soy sauce. Fifth, lobster tails in lime leaves with caramelized fruit. He boiled the tails with splints tied on to keep them straight for serving. The caramelized fruit is a marvelous match with the natural sweetness of the lobster. And last, cabbage and lobster rolled in spinach topped with pigeon meat. A thick, powerful bisque has penetrated into the spinach rolls, and the simply superb lobster soup maximizes the overall experience. Iron Chef Sakai counters with four dishes. First, Omar lobster mousse in sea urchin cream sauce. Lobster and egg yolk were blended to make the mousse, which is presented in a delicate sea urchin sauce. White asparagus and lobster crest sauce, an artistic dish, a depiction of the spring season, with the asparagus adding an interesting twist of texture. Third, lobster stuffed in turnip, Iron Chef style, an East meets West creation using bonito broth and white miso to successfully draw out the flavor of the lobster. Last, lobster and vegetable salad, balsamic vinegar dressing. He chose to finish his meal with the salad, again using in-season asparagus as he did in his second dish. Now tasting and judgment with the same panel tasting the dishes. First, the dishes of Pierre Gagnier. It was my good fortune to purchase a fresh lobsters that were caught just this morning. The flavors of all the elements are harmonized and the texture of the lobster eggs and that of the squid is a nice combination in this salad, I think. Very nice. Well, first of all, you were so lucky to get this rare oyster. You know, it's uh, rare to find this oyster mm, even in France. It speaks of a spring and so, uh, so fresh when you put it into your mouth. You know, really, this is uh, more than exceptional. Yes, I think it's a bit overcooked. This lobster is from Brittany, so it's quite normal for it to be firm like this. But the point that I want to emphasize is that this dish speaks of his talent and his personality and really his, his genius. Yes, I second that. It speaks of Pierre's talent in using the ingredients available to him. I'm ready to call this a miracle dish. Without the bisque, actually, I'd say this dish doesn't work. The preparing well-balanced dishes like these in just one hour is so exceptional. You know, all of Pierre's dishes deserve praise, really. At that much speed, he was able to make dishes like this. He's a true professional. I'm very impressed. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. Chef Gagnier is a top chef in France, so I was pretty fired up today. The asparagus, the mousse and sea urchin sauce are blended together in harmony without offending each other. It's a perfect dish to open with. Yes. This is a very refreshing dish. However, one thing that is missing is that French people are often fond of a little bit softer asparagus. Incredible, the colors used. And the light um, texture of the asparagus and the soft sweetness in the lobster. It's quite a lovely dish. I like the combination of the crest sauce and the asparagus, but I have to question the use here of uh, 
this other sauce, uh, as far as uh, likings of the French palate, uh, I'm... I'm sure Mr. Twagor would agree with me. I think this extra sauce is just not necessary. White miso and clam juice and bonito broth. The lobster and the mushroom, which are from the West, used like this in a miso soup, which is from the East, is uh, such a nice blend. It's really very nice. The use of morel mushrooms was interesting. They are in season right now. Fresh? Yes, fresh. This tastes very good. The turnip is well cooked, and the bouillon is just great. The flavor of the, the lobster has been absorbed by the vegetables so perfectly here. This dish expresses spring very well, the new cabbage and the lobster used in this. Yes, it really does express the sense of spring uh, quite well. And I just realized that uh, you've actually used uh, asparagus in many of your dishes. I suppose you, you really like it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Omar Lobster, which man will get his claws on the verdict? We'll find out. Omar,長い、長い戦いとなってしまったオマール対決。この。<laughs> ふたりの戦いは両理士に残るような壮絶なものでした。ふたりに改めて拍手をお送りたいと思います。それでは結果を発表します。our second battle at Brazac Castle, France versus Japan's Gourmet Academy and Pierre Gagnier. Throughout the battle, the Frenchman showing his genius, endeavoring to regain his greatness. Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai with the Academy's pride on the line, cooking as if he were a three-star chef. Time to know who takes it, whose cuisine reigns supreme. Pierre Gagnier! in victory, he and Sakai, all smiles, no hard feelings between them, all right to score, Yoko Shimada, 17 to 16, Iron Chef Sakai, Asako Kishi, 20 to 19, Sakai, Joel Robichon, 16 to 12, Pierre Gagné, Pierre Tragro, 18, 13, Gagné, again a split verdict, but on points, Gagné takes it, 69 to 62, victory belongs to him. And the Duke of Brazac awarding the medal of victory to Gagné, the winner of this second battle. Gagné joining Bernard Leprance. They have beaten a pair of iron chefs. All right, Abe-san now is ready for some words with the winner. Go ahead. Congratulations. Merci. I am overjoyed that I was able to do a good job. This competition was very important to me as it was a way for me to exact revenge and regain my pride from my loss in Tokyo. All right, and Pierre Gagnier's wife joining him on stage. The Iron Chefs too applauding, acknowledging the effort put forth and the victory today by Pierre Gagnier. He defeats Iron Chef French Sakai. What an event it's been, the best in France and Japan going head to head with the French chefs winning both of these great cooking battles at Brazac Castle in France.